Thank you so much for the invitation to speak here. Um, I'm sure um, you will know we are relatively behind schedule, so I'll keep it short. Um, I've prepared a presentation that should take more than 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I work for an organization called Common Land. Um, Common Land uh, has been uh, founded in 2014 by uh, the IUCN Commission on Ecosystem Management and the Rotterdam Business School. By, uh, the driving force behind it was uh, Willem Verda, who was a former director of IUCN Management's committee. And um, uh, this is what we believe, and I am also not a botanist. I was trained as a soil scientist, but I hope all the botanists can agree as well that soil is one of the most valuable assets on this earth. Um, we believe that the restoration of ecosystems can be a solution to many of the world's big challenges that we are facing. And um, we can help to solve many of the problems. We realize that 25% of the world landmass is actually severely degraded. And we also know that it is possible to restore these ecosystems. Um, and so we have created a vision to do this. And we believe that we should, get, should involve large corporates because they have been living off the land for many, for many years and now it's time to integrate the ecosystem approach within the business thinking. And this can actually provide an opportunity also for business. And it should be the basis of the restoration industry, as we call it. Now I've been asked to explain a little bit about the model that we are using. So we are using a model that is what we call um, the four returns of landscape restoration. So the four returns are the, the return of inspiration at first. It's inspiring to restore the landscape and make the landscape productive. It gives hope and it gives purpose to the people that are living off the land. Obviously, we also uh, try to achieve a natural return. So the natural return is a return of biodiversity, of plants and uh, animal life, uh, to create fertile soils and to retain water. And at the same time, this can also create jobs and income for people living off the land. Um, we can stimulate entrepreneurship, develop ecotourism, and this will contribute to human well-being because as previous speakers have already said it's really about the people in that landscape and last but not least we think this is possible during delivering also a financial return so this is our four return language that we've developed and now from the previous speakers I've already learned that a lot of the case studies presented here actually already capture these four returns. So it's four returns and we take a landscape approach to the landscape. So we work developing four returns in three zones. We've defined a natural zone, a mixed zone and an economic zone. Now the challenge is to create economic activity that is actually uh, beneficial for the mixed zone and the natural zone. So what we do in the economic zone can be anything. It can be agriculture, it can be real estate, as long as the revenues of that economic zone flow back into the landscape and actually make a positive contribution instead of what we see as happening, a negative contribution. Now we realize that these things take time and this is why we establish partnerships for 20 years. So four returns, three zones, 20 years. This is our mission. We are already implementing this in South Africa and in Spain. So in South Africa, we are working in a catchment um, that is delivering drinking water to the city of Port Elizabeth from the Southern Cape in South Africa. And we started our intervention in the Damian's Cloth, which is one of the three catchment areas. And uh, the total area is 500,000 hectares and the Babian's Globe is approximately
roughly 1,000 hectares. Uh, sorry, 100,000 hectares. Oops. Um, this is a fence line you can see on the picture. So the area is degraded severely by overgrazing, mostly by Angora goats. Um, this has led to degradation, uh, to loss of sustainable livelihoods. Um, and we have um, put a business developer in this area, and there was already a small NGO uh, working in the area, working with the farmers. But um, we created a large scale vision for the whole area with the farmers. And we got other stakeholders on board as well. So the local government, but also the beverage industry and an insurance company. An insurance company that is actually carrying the risk, the financial risk of the farmers, because the farmers are insured for droughts and floods in the area. So they have an interest to restore the landscape and to do better water management in the area, to retain water, to increase the base flow. So we have established, also with the help of colleagues of GIZ, a partnership that is um, currently developing uh, plans for restoring the landscape. And so this is a Photoshop uh, picture that we did to uh, demonstrate to the farmers what the land use will look like after uh, uh, we will we will have completed our interventions. So, basically, the long-term um, cash flow will be based on coconuts. Now, this is completely different from a farmer that is used to do goats, to go to a, a, an agroforestry-like system with coconuts as the main cash flow, intercropped in this case, lavender, essential oils. But it's a huge business opportunity because these farmers can increase their income so much that they can even free up land to restore the native vegetation on the hill slopes. So when we showed the numbers to the farmers, they said, hmm, yes, we would like to try this. And now we are currently um, designing the pilots to see what species of nuts are, are actually growing best. We will be clearing invasive species. We will be doing composting. We will actually still have goats, but they will be behind fences because the farmers cannot um, say, say goodbye to the goats completely. So it is a gradual change. Um, and we will do a restoration of alluvial fans and a restoration of wetlands that are in the area as well. And as well, develop ecotourism opportunities. So that was South Africa. This is our first advanced project. Now, just three slides from an example that we had in Spain. Last year we started scouting for opportunities that would deliver four returns, three zones, in Spain. And we identified an area which we call the Altiplano. It's situated between Granada and Murcia. And um, it's, a, it's a highland, about 1,000 meters elevation. Um, it has three natural zones. The green areas are natural parks. It's an area of 500,000 hectares as well. But the situation is much different from South Africa because the landowners in South Africa they have an average farm size of 4,000 hectares. And this, these farmers have 40 hectares farm size. So we will be working with many more farmers. And we uh, identified key strategic intervention areas between the natural zones to to start uh, revegetating the area, creating a different um, uh, business model based on organic almond farming. Um, the area was um, degraded mainly by uh, destruction of the soils by uh, tillage. Um, even these almond groves and olive groves are often tilled. And um, uh, it has been very destructive to the soils and this region as living with less and less rainfall. Um, so we identified a strategic area where we are going to start fighting our interventions. We want to establish 20 demonstration farms here. And we have set up a local association that will be doing the business development. We also want to see if we can increase the value because the almonds are traded at the international market. But it is possible to process 
the elements in the valley itself and increase the added value. We will also be developing uh, intercropping uh, schemes, but the main cash crop will be the elements and also the Segoreño ban, which is a um, uh, very traditional uh, way of uh, keeping sheep in the area, can actually graze within the almond groves or, uh, or almond groves. Um, so this is basically two examples of the model um, that we are currently <coughs> implementing. This is not the end. I mean, we've just started. We just started last year. And this is how we are organized. So we have the Compland Foundation um, that is setting up development companies. They can be companies or they can be associations um, that create partnerships to um, restoration projects, create large scale restoration projects, but also the businesses. So the composting business, the honey business, the, um, uh, all the businesses that we can think of. Separately or simultaneously, actually, setting up an investment fund that can then start investing in these ventures on the basis of the full returns model. So, the investment fund will firstly target impact investors, but it is our dream to also target institutional investors because that's where the big money goes. We are also not doing this alone, we can only do this together. So, from a business development perspective, we often start scouting for where, where are the opportunities for four returns, three zones, 20 years projects in the landscape. We do then set up a partnership, do the collaborative learning, we get the funding, we do implement the restoration, then we want to scale up, we want to set an example, inspire others to follow the example. And by inspiring others, these people will become activated and we will have an upward spiral. This is our dream. Thank you very much for your attention.